then we can just edit this whole part out. I can. Upload, he, you don't know the deck, right? Yeah, I can. <laughs> I can cut it. Yeah. Right. yeah. Just untap your lands. They it's didn't. The cut. Cut side. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> right. And. Welcome to the Mock Stars Podcast. We have a very special episode today. Our first ever gameplay video with our special guest, Gavin Verhe. Say hello to the people, Gavin. Hello, people. And we have the other Mock Stars here today. We got Jordan Garcia. Yo, what up? And Christopher Ritter. What's up, guys? Today, we're actually going to get started with this gameplay video by rolling to see who goes first in turn order. Jordan, would you kick us off? Nope. Gavin, you want to oh, game? guess first? Oh, I'm nope. so sorry. But you should all roll on the table so everyone can see what uh, you're yeah. going to do, of course. Looks like I got a five starting Ooh. off strong. Solid. Be that. Yeah. Okay, 18. 18, <laughs> 18 that's all right, well, pretty strong. That's 20 right here. I left to win the dice roll, so... That's worse. All right, all right. I'm counting on you. 19, 20. Here we yeah, go. So we you got two options, bro. <laughs> no, that's oh, not what that is. It is a 19. That is not a 19. It is 100% a 19. Let's go. Wow. There Let's go. Is. Hey, you're going second. Second best position. All right, everyone. <laughs> I love going last. Okay. All, right. all right. Good luck. So who are we playing today? So I'll kick it off. I'm playing Carter Doom Scourge. My deck is kind of all about making my opponents attack each other. So I want to play Carter, make you attack each other, and hopefully you all kill each other instead of killing me. <laughs> I love that. Uh, I'm playing Borborgamos Enraged, uh, so I want to discard lands from my hand to bolt things, essentially. You're shockingly good at bolting things. Uh, I'm totally totally good at oh, <laughs> no, he's yeah. boltingly good at it. <laughs> um, I'm playing Rocco Cabaret Caterer, a more casual build that our buddy Guy built. Um, it's supposed to be targeting, uh, pulling out Mavinda and Feather and a few kind of silly cards and uh, got a cool little build around. Awesome. And I am playing Xeris the Writhing Storm. This is a deck that we've talked about on the podcast before, but it is a little toned down to be more in line with an 82 Honda, where it's going to be manually drawing cards until I draw my entire library and winning with lab man type effects. We'll see how successful I am. I'll generate a ton of snakes in the process and side wing condition, I'm going to punch you guys' faces in. And he's going to make me do it. Yeah, yeah. So oh, he, yeah. It's not his fault. He just had to attack. I, I'm he didn't gonna, even attack me to let me draw cards with just the savage. That is actually <laughs> really funny. <laughs> <laughs> what a uh, I love your sleeves, too. Those are great. Thank you. Yeah, these are my favorite artwork uh, sleeves from uh, Dragon Shield. So, Sick. Yeah, let's get it kicked off. I'm first in turn order. Does anyone have any pregame actions? I like that you asked the question. I, now I feel... Like I should, but I just <laughs> <laughs> negative. <laughs> All right, let's get it kicked off. I will yeah. draw for turn. Untap up, keep draw for turn. No effects either. No effects on that. That sounds great. I'm gonna play a windswept heath. Tap it, paying one life. Shoop. Going to grab a breeding pool. All right. Tap your untap. I am gonna untap it. All it's coming right. untap. We're all winning, everybody. Good work. Let's go. I was say, cracking that fetch immediately. Super casual game. Very, very casual. casual. Yeah, because I have a turn one play. Ooh, even more. Is it casual. an elf? Y y yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Actually, yes. I've never seen this before. <laughs> I'm tapping <laughs> an elvish mystic. <laughs> wow. Nice. All right, and I'll pass the turn. That's there. why I'm a pro. All right, I'm gonna draw my card. <laughs> and here comes a good old command tower. Go ahead. Heard it's it. a much better turn well, one. Turn. Beautiful. Uh, 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 uh. Cool. I'm gonna play game trail, revealing a forest. Nice. All of you. Turn one beautiful. elf. Beautiful. I have lands in my hand. One up. But then I'm gonna pass the turn. Oh snap! Aww. All right. <laughs> you just want to show off. You're like, guys, I do have this this land. Check out I'm this not forest. afraid to use it. Yeah. You're gonna hit your second land drop. It is one of my favorite forests. Like I'll all draw right. this. Right. Not an elf. Um. All right. Let's just open up with a solid forest. Not an elf into an expedition map, and I'll pass the turn. I love it. I will untap, upkeep, and draw for turn. Let's do the thing that everybody hates. Um, play another elf. I don't know what, what <laughs> the thing. Play a Beseju down. <laughs> Ooh, oh, what you hate doing. Got I hate yeah. doing that. Does, that. does that tap for mana? Is, is that I, something I, it does? I, at this point, I'm not sure. Oh. I'm going to tap for three mana. Oh, it does. Taps for green. <laughs> um, so two or one of this being a blue, two green, and I'm going to cast a Ristic Study. Oh, snap. All right. We all have to pay. Okay, everybody. Be responsible. Except 
Got it. I have a two mana activation next turn. I'm chilling. All right. I will pass the turn there. Uh, how many cards are in your hand? Uh, I have five. You have five cards in your hand. Yes. So one trick you can do is, you know, you can try and just be like, okay, fine, you're going to drop a bunch of cards and have to discard them, but not with five cards. No. The turn one elephant, the turn two heuristic study. That's quite the... It's strong. Quite the move. Um, all right, well, this is the point where I asked the table, are we going to pay or not? Because I would, I would like for us to pay, but if I'm going to play a two drop, if you guys are just going to start play your two drops and... I'm going to tutor for that land, uh, so I will absolutely pay. I doing? don't need a turn two play. Okay. I think we can all be responsible here. Okay, then in that case, I want to play this Polluted Delta, and I'm just going to pass the turn. Go ahead. Heard it. Draw for turn. Too many people just let the Rhystic Study player draw a million cards. We just can't let that happen. 100%. Yeah, it's the right way to play. It's a stacks piece. I am going to play Valka, the Molten nice. Pinnacle, tapped, and pass turn. Excellent. I will untap, draw the super cool card. Um, I will play an exotic orchard, which I believe times for everything at this point. Um, and yeah, yeah, I will tower, so. pass turn. All right. Untap. Upkeep and draw. Oh, heart of the cards, baby. Let's hit my land drop. Okay. <laughs> I got lucky. That one's going to deal damage to you, right? No one wants that. I'm going to tap for two green, yeah. and I'm going to cast a Sanctum Weaver. Mana! And on that note, I'll pass the turn. All right, I'm gonna crack this polluted delta. <clears throat> I'm gonna take uh, just one. I'm not I'm not as brave as some some folks here. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a swamp. I'm gonna tap those. I'm gonna cycle this twisted abomination. So it's not a spell, so it's not gonna trigger the rhystic study. Mm -hmm. so sure, for sure. Nice, take nice. That. And uh, I'm gonna go get a blood crypt into my hand. What a bad rhystic study. I know, it's not paying <laughs> off at all. Why doesn't he even play that card? Still <laughs> I mean, at some point you'll, you'll draw cards off it, I'm sure, but let's just try and be, be responsible. Especially, he might not have land drops in his hand, guys. We he just, might like, not have land drops you know, in his hand. You readily just keep, uh, keep these, these draws sometimes. I do have to warn you, uh, the worst thing to see at the table is Evan with mana. <laughs> so. it's, you want to cut? It's uh, funny that Rhystic Study never works for me. <laughs> Ever. We don't like it when you have cards in your hand. Yeah. I'm sorry. But apparently. Okay. Well, I'm going to <clears throat> play out this mountain. And for three mana, paying the one, I'm going to cast Everflowing Chalice, X equals one, just to get some more mana out there. Very nice. And you are, you are I paying can grab one, a dice. Yeah. That was great. All right. Untap, upkeep, uh, trawl. Uh, just saving time real quick, I'm going to uh, yeah. go and crack this. What are you getting? I'm going to go get a nice little basic mountain. Nice. Gets the job done. You know what? I am going to have to be irresponsible. Oh, come on. We've all been so responsive. This whole but game. I think you're going to like what's going to happen. All right. Well, hopefully it destroys the Rhystic Study. Red. Two colorless. Blood Moon. Oh. oh. I'm so glad I fetched I for a basic. Oh. I, I don't like what's going to happen. Ouch. <laughs> you have mana. <laughs> <laughs> you have your colors. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> this guy's got he's got an Elvish Mystic and a Sanctum Weaver, you know. Yeah, I still have I still have the colors I need to get Zerus. I am just extremely limited beyond that. Yeah, yeah I wish I. Uh, yes, and it turns off your Gaia Cradle and mm -hmm, all your other I, lines in there. Uh, and you can draw a card from that if you'd like. Ooh, I would love to. Thank you so uh, much. And then I'm gonna pass turn. Wow, I didn't know we were Blood Moon gaming today. I didn't know we were Blood Moon uh, gaming either. I actually, this deck is interesting because I don't know what the game plan is going to be until I get my opening seven. <laughs> You're going to so get sometimes that. you do get Blood Moon. Sometimes yeah. you just get Blood Moon, you know? Yeah. That, is a, that is a byproduct of putting it in your deck, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that is the problem with Blood Moon, is you do draw it sometimes. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, goodness. Right. Goodness gracious. I should have waited two seconds to crack that expedition map. Um, okay, cool beans. I will play this basic forest, and I would like to pass a turn. All right. Uh, let's see uh, what I've got. A real zero to hear. Yeah. That was in Forge. I will untap. I was laughing. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't realize. I should have gone for a planes off of that expedition map. I'll draw yeah, for you're turn. You're welcome to switch it up if you want, because he, obviously you would have done it at the end of his turn. Totally. Right? So yeah, I mean, if you should have gotten a planes, you can go into planes. I don't. Care. No, it is what it is. I I baited myself into it. All right. You got it. Uh, let's see. I have a lot. Well, I have two enchantments. So Sanctum Weaver will tap for two. So I'm not totally. Yeah, you're gonna be fine. 
out of it here. You got, you got red mana, blue mana, and green. <laughs> and the, at least this won't deal damage to me. That's the the benefit yeah, here. It's real upside, actually. One, two, three. Uh, four and five, because these just tap for red anyway. It does not matter. I will go ahead and I will cast Xerus. And that'll be all for my turn. Can I draw some cards? Yeah, I, I, Next turn. I will punch you right in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> I would like some cards, please. <laughs> I'll pass the turn there. Okay. I'm going to untap. I will draw my card. Look at all my, my mountains over here. Um, Go sweet mountain. <clears throat> all right. I'm going to play this Temple of the False God, which is actually just a mountain. Big brain plays. Um, let's see. You got Zyrus. You got some elves. Um, okay. I'm going to put out... Sounds like a fun, fun little move. I'm going to tap one... Two, three, and... No, we're not going to do that. All right, yeah. Don't kill One, it. One, two, three, four, five. Kill it. <laughs> um, no, I'm going to play Crimson Fleet Commodore, and I'll pay the one, and I will become the monarch. Whoa. All oh, right. Ooh. Okay. Can I read that card? Because I have no idea what it does. Uh, well, it's not going to help you if you don't know what the monarch does. Oh, I know the monarch. Oh, I know. <laughs> it is just ETB become oh, the monarch. monarch. Got it. Okay. Copy that. I am the monarch now. And uh, I will end my turn, and I will draw a card for being the monarch. Go ahead. I will create a snake when you draw that card. Yes, you will. I will untap, go to my upkeep, and draw a card. Oh, yes, and you paid the one. Cool. I'm going to play what might as well be a mountain. Nice mountain. Mm -hmm. And then three red. For a seismic assault, paying the tax. Ooh. Seismic assault yep. for those playing at home is a uh, Borgamos at home, essentially. Yeah, I yeah. love it. More of that. It is a shock. Hi, Borgi. And then I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. I won't tap anything because I have done nothing this game, and I will draw this cool card. Ooh. Uh, okay. Well, I'll play this mountain, which actually is a mountain. Uh, <laughs> you all mountains over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got two forests going for me. Uh, I'll tap this mountain for a soul ring. Would you like to pay one I for six will pay them. So responsible. Look at us. This is mm -hmm. everyone at home. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. Um, I may have to feed him one time because I have to dig myself out of this hole. I have six cards in hand. Actually, you know what? No. We didn't play land last turn. No rustic study for you. I'll pass. We actually did okay. keep. We, we he didn't play land last turn, so we actually did keep him off of. I'm gonna keep it that way. I you guys were mad at the blood moon. I'm gonna make him swing. It's helping. Swing for the Zerus. Was hoping that no one noticed that I missed that. Untap, upkeep, drawing for turn. I will hit a land drop this turn, but it is a mountain. Voice. Which is fortunately all it searches for. Um, let's just go to combat right away. We got to see what we're dealing with here. Uh, I'm going to declare uh, Zyrus as an attacker at you, Jordan. Hell yeah, no blocks. All right, let's draw three cards. I will aggressively draw three cards. Shoot. Get your little snakies. It's a beautiful thing. I I love that. Okay. When you draw three cards, I will create three snakes. I'm going to use this snake with this die to represent them. Okay. So you've got a bunch of snakes. I've got four snakes at the moment. One without sickness. Lots of things in my hand that I don't know what to do with, unfortunately. Um... <clears throat> I am, I've got a lot of cards in hand, so I'm actually gonna use this mountain. Nice. And I'm gonna cast a gamble. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take a chance here. Okay, this is exciting. All right. All right, well, anyone have anything? Uh, no, yeah, go for it, dog. a lot of blue man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> pretty safe shape. The big question is, will you discard what you draw? It almost never happens, especially with this many cards in your hand. But you never know. He's not a lucky guy. Um, <laughs> I, what, what, what are we gambling for? Really don't know how crazy I want to be here because, I mean, this deck can be crazy. Let's go for... 
I really want to get this because it's what the deck's all about, so I'm going to grab it. Okay. Well, I don't know what's about to happen, but I don't think I'm going to like it. This is a card that when it was created, I built so many standard decks around it. Oh, I really hope I made it. Let's I see, uh, let's actually, I'm really curious if you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm to find out. I probably didn't. But. A lot of upside here. A lot of upside. All of you at home, if you know what it is. Jordan's like, cut. All right. Gamble's in the graveyard. Slide this over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine oh cards God, in my hand. Nice. Uh, nice you know, I've been seeing that Instagram advertisement with a guy who's got dice from one to 11. And I. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, kind of helpful, honestly. Huh? Yeah. Right? Let's just roll a d20 and we'll just. Um, re roll? And yeah, we'll, we'll just double double them up, right? So one through nine, then 10 through seven, 17. Is yeah, that? I think so. Uh, or, eight. yeah, 18. So six. six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got rid of delay. Delay Ooh. is gone. Oh, All right. For your counter spell. That's almost so, certainly what you gambled for. I can only imagine. Protection. So much for my interaction. All right. Um, here it is. This is my favorite. It's literally my favorite card in the game. Uh, I'm going to exile another spirit guide for a green mana. Ooh. That's one way to get mana. Okay. Tapping a red. Yeah. And two blue. Yeah. And I will cast a Song of Creation. Oh, it's a sweet card. Okay. It's a really sweet card. All right. So I can play an additional land on each of my turns. Whenever I cast a spell, I draw two cards. At the beginning of my end step, I discard my hand. So if I get nowhere with this, I'm done. Yeah. I will be out of cards in hand. I day me. I'd be loose. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's start off putting a red and a green mana into my pool. Actually, a red, a green, and I'm going to tap four snakes. Because I'm going to cast a Court of Calling. Oh, okay. Right, X is three. I don't know what's about to happen, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm, tap no, I'm tapped out. I don't have any responses. I have nothing I can do. I mean, I guess you can Seismic Assault if you got to land in your hand, right? But I not could, a, but no but good not targets. Yeah. yeah. Not yet. The time to do, do that is fast. Yeah. yeah. Uh, draw trigger on, ca or on yeah, draw, cast. Yeah, it's you to draw what you're going to search for. You know? Yep. Uh, and then... Are right, you going to find something that costs three or less? Three or less. So are we all dead this turn? That's my question. I don't think so, because what's in my hand is not um, explosive enough to do it. That's still nuts that you're able to pull all this off, right? I mean, that's pretty wacky. This is a pretty typical Evan start, <laughs> I would say. We're all the gang up on Evan. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's kind of the... Um, Definitely, he, he explores uh, vectors that just develop a threatening board state pretty early on. You got to deal with me early. Um, three or less. There's not really a lot of creatures in here. I kind of... Uh, I'm looking at the one I think I want, and I think that is Whirlpool Warrior. Okay. So this is going to go to the graveyard. Ooh, let's wheel, baby. When it comes into play, each player shuffles their hand in their library and um, cards, right? It's, uh, I do it first. Oh, you do it first. And then activation is the wheel. And I activate, yep. Okay. So we're going to do it yet. We'll see. Yeah, we're doing a little bit more gambling because I'm going to have to shuffle my hand as long as this is all right. Yeah, you can just go ahead and shuffle it in. That's fine. Mm -hmm. So that's it seven is cards. seven cards. All right. I'm really just hoping for the uh, coat of arms at this point because I just want to get real big real fast. Wow, this is a... Very explosive. I love using Zyrus um, along with Whirlpool Warrior, right? That's a great way to get a bunch of extra tokens. That's really mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. I, uh, hopefully, I can pick up a Cryptolith right soon and uh, really take full advantage of it. Uh, let's draw seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And see what we can do. I have not played a land this turn. I will play my first, which is a taiga, which is a mountain, unfortunately. 
and we're gonna get Whirlpool Warrior at home. I'm gonna cast a Winds of Change. Okay, uh, I'll shuffle our hands in our library and draw that many cards. Yep, there's potential for this effect to pop off twice this turn. This on cast, I will draw two. Okay. Uh, I, I'm happy to shuffle in my hand, I guess, and draw yeah. six cards. Do you want to nuke anything before you do that? Um. I mean, you can nuke the warrior and force him to use it right now, which would probably be good, just so that's out of the way. Yeah, I don't see more cards. It just happens yeah. back to back. You know what? That is probably correct. Let me choose the card. A wasteland will do it. Yeah, sure, that'll, that'll do it. Um, if you have I'll, more, you can also start tanking like his dorks and stuff. Yeah, the mana resist. I'm trying to think what's optimal for myself. Well, you're gonna draw. You're, you have to discard everything as right. it yeah, is. Yeah, but I'm only gonna the draw as many cards as I shuffle back in my life. Oh, it's equal to what you. Back, right? what you I see. It. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hit, I see. What you're I do lose resources right. doing this. The big question to me is: Do you think he's gonna be able to have ways to untap the Sanctum Weaver? Because if he does, this is gonna generate a lot of mana and let him keep going. If he doesn't, then I'm not worried about it. I think it's more like find Cryptolith, right? Tat the snakes that he generates off of us drawing to find more mana. Yeah, although they don't have haste yet, right? Correct. Right, not until, yeah, they would have to go around the table, in which case I would have already discarded the Cryptolith right to the song of creation, which is kind of a weird gamble at the moment. Well, you're all in now. So, I'm I, all in. I, I mean, I'm saying I can do it. If you think, if you guys think it's advantageous to get rid of the dorks right now, I will sacrifice. I mean, I, mean, I, I wouldn't put yourself out of the game either. But it right. doesn't put me out of the game. I mean, I, I have a way to come back still, so, you know. Um, I don't know. I don't, I mean, I don't I, know if it's necessary. I, you'll probably still have a land in your hand at the end, so I guess I'm not too worried about it. You're right. Yeah. So, okay, so so we're going to shuffle them in. That, I'm, you know what? I am going to nuke the Sanctum right. Weaver. Sanctum Weaver down. Yep. Yeah. Get out of here. Uh, yeah. I'm going to choose a different land for that, though. Okay. Besage it. Okay. Okay. Get that in there. That's actually a okay. uh, more effective use of Besage it, right? I don't get the search off of it. <laughs> um, okay. So we're going to shuffle our hands in twice, basically. Right? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to pay for the Whirlpool Warrior so activation. You just get twice that many number of tokens. Yes. So for me, you're going to get 12. For you, you're going to get six. That's 18. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So 16. And 16. So 16 plus 12 plus. Six, right? Mm -hmm. So that's uh, 16 plus 34. 12 is 28 plus 6. Yeah, 34. A paltry 30 34. Token. So and then I'll discard, draw the many, discard, draw the many. No, it uh, goes shuffle in. Yep, shuffle shuffle in. into okay. your library. Yep. So yeah, you can just do it one time and that'll be. Gotcha, gotcha. Unless, um, you, unless you think you're going to have a free spell worth it. <laughs> no. Uh, well, would I have space to seismic assault? You, you, you would. Space to seismic yeah, so you know what? I am Although definitely going to do what it twice. you want a seismic assault. I mean, if I draw three lands, I can just take out zero set. That oh, point. that's a great point. So. Okay, that, yeah. I am going to preserve my right to do that. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, uh, preserve the right to kill off zero. That sounds worth it. I do not want that. I like it. I don't want that. Cuts okay. keys. All right, here we go. I'm going to draw my cards. Wow, my hand is a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, let's see if we get any answers. It's the same amount, correct? Yes, for the first, and then... Um, or just seven. You'll do it again. Yep, so get your first, and then shuffle it back in. Do it again. But it's the amount of cards you put back. Yeah, yeah. So okay. the effect is happening just twice. Right. Yep. So. But it happens, you don't need to do it twice. Unless uh, you're going to interact like it for... Inlay, yeah. I have, I have I nothing to do. Okay. I think you technically do have to see it because I mean you can see that first clutch of three cards and make a decision then so I think you have to commit to what you're doing. Right, yep. Okay, yeah. and I'll shuffle in. I have no available mana. I fear that as soon as I pick up my next seven, I'll have to end my turn and lose that seven. Love it. Discard the hand. Discard. <laughs> yeah. So you still have uh, yeah, 37 snakes. So you Yeah, know, yes I do, yes I do. Like All right. Find a blasphemous act in here or something. All right. I actually got really, really lucky to see more cards. Um, I'm going to pay two life and I'm going to cast a gut shot. And Raider, I got to hit you in the face for one damage on the cast. I will draw two cards. I believe that is, um, I just want to make sure, I played this Blood Mire on my previous turn, correct? Not this turn, that's where uh, I was, yes. yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, We're no, it should be this. That's oh, no, what I was, no, 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 it's this turn, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I can play additional. Yeah, yeah. Um, you are good, because right. you've missed one land drop, but then you played ye this turn. Right? Yes, no. or I, uh, that's what I was wondering, did I play two this turn? No, you have not played two this turn. Okay, um, I'll put down a 
a land. Well, so, sorry, no. I, I think you played these two this turn. Yeah, that's what I was curious of. Is I because you had three lands at the beginning of this turn. You missed your land drop. You started off with this. And mm -hmm. you this. Yep, Song of Creation went off, and I played the additional land. So yes. this is in my hand. You guys all know that Discard now. Discard that thing. Get it out of here. Ooh. Sweet mountain, bro. Thank you. Um, I will put down insurance if Ritter is so kind wants to kill it. I'm going to cast a Jewel Lotus as well. Ooh, I'll okay, draw to. And just getting rid of answers. <laughs> getting rid of cards. You put nothing in play, right? That's nice. Yep. I will go to my end step. I will discard a natural or gemstone. <laughs> you got a lot of action over there. I'm glad it's not the one ring you even getting out. Yeah. Okay. I just didn't have the mana to cast it. So there we go. See. Passing the turn. Okay. Well, the, the bad news is uh, my hand had a board sweeper in it, and it no longer does. So... Yes. You know, uh, there goes that plan. Hate, hate to tell you about that. Yeah, I, I drew a brother, Brotherhood's End in that uh, middle clutch. Ooh. Would have really solved the problem. Right. Would have. So, yeah, I can't say I have all, everything's going to help. I guess I will attack you for five. Swing at me? Yeah. I will take five. But I, I don't think I want to just put that in front of some snakes. It's not really fine. Mm -hmm. Got you. Here. And then uh, I'll play out this mountain. Or like many other cards in my hand. And for one, two, three, four, I will cast Carter. And that's going to make oh, all man. of uh, y'all's creatures attack. Oh, my them. God. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, so you're fine. Uh, yeah. yeah I, <laughs> Just need a conjurer's closet and you're protected the rest of the game. I'm going to go ahead and pass the turn. Love that. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm going to pay the one for your. Uh, oh, the Rhystic Study. I'll draw a card for being the monarch. Oh, I did not hit you. I should have hit you. Nah, you gotta draw. You don't want me to draw the card. Yeah. Make snake for the monarch trigger. Oh, hey, oh, thank you. Another snake on the battlefield. Uh, I'm gonna cast cultivate. Oh, did you want to pay one for a rustic study? Oh, I did pay for that. Yep. Sorry. Oh. Get well, not sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not even sorry. In no way am I sorry that I paid for the tag. You shouldn't be. Uh, I'm gonna put a forest. Uh, I am playing with a Japanese cultivate tapped or untapped. Uh, it is one tapped and then one in your hand. Yep, that's yeah, that's what I thought. There's another forest in my hand. I love those Japanese cards. I know. I should probably just know the text of the cards if I'm going to play them. <laughs> <laughs> and then, ooh, ooh anybody want to cut? Uh, nope. I just believe you're doing good. If you stack your deck, we need it to be stacked right now. So uh, yeah, you've actually put something on top that'd be yeah, really if you sweet. Could, if you could something to play to kill off all those snakes. If <laughs> only. Um. And the festivities would be unbelievable. I'm gonna play a land for the turn. And then I'm gonna pass turn. Ooh. Many, yeah, it's like how many lands do you have for the size of your salt, you know? Yeah. Oh man. I oh. have enough to do what I have. To do. I'm type upkeep draw. Okay. Not a board wipe. Just had to check. Um, I will start off by playing this sweet four mana search for tomorrow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All I right. will go get myself an actual basic land that I can use it's this time. Plane. All right. Nice. You're going to blow up all of his it's creatures. Right? That's what happens next. Um, we'll see. Three mana blow up all creatures. We're looking for it. Yeah. I don't. You got a blasphemous Fire. act in there. God. Blasphemous act. Fire. That's what's in my hand. There's the other. Oh, really? oh, oh, oh no way. Your favorite card. It, earthquake. It was going to be. <laughs> do it. Rolling yeah, earthquake. One. That would be sweet. Uh, it's not my deck, though, so it depends if it's Guy's favorite card. Um, it's not. So I will have to actually go into discard here. Four, five, six, seven, eight cards. I will discard one, which will be these. Of course. What is it? I'll get rid of this Angel Fire Ignition here. And I'll pass the turn. Oh, man. Your deck is gorgeous, man. I will definitely give you give you credit where credit's due here. Thank you. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous deck. Appreciate that. It's uh, it's been a journey. I think that's. Oh, did, kinda... you make, did you make sure just to drop make one more snake by the way when I drew for Monarch? Oh, I did already make one. Okay. Yep. Just making sure you count that. Yep. And passing. Passing. All right. Untap. Uh, without this turn. A, without a blue source. Uh, no blue source. Oh, hey, good job killing that. Hey. Yep. All right. Thanks, uh, guys. I'm trying. So <laughs> you're doing great. Yeah. We've got 39 snakes there. I'll put another snake out it if is, we... Yeah, it is weird hard to, to cast your spells, for sure. Yeah, so let's draw for turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to move to combat. And I don't want to give you any of you cards, but if I have to give someone cards... Move cards, man. 
Come on. Come on. It can't be Ritter because he'll bolt. He'll kill Zyrus. So uh, Jordan 3 uh, coming at you. And then... You can take me out. I think you have 39 snakes. You literally have 39. Wow, I do have the perfect amount. I mean, if you have a land in your hand, you could always yeah. have one of them away. Yeah. I will I will send 39 your way, and you'll kill one. I All right, you go to one. Live at one. Go to one life. And who's the oh, I do have to swing with Elvish Mystic as well. Um, I will take that at Jordan, since I did not declare. Okay. And where is yours is going at Jordan? Yes. Um, okay, before damage, do I want to do anything? Yeah, you could like path to exile the Zerus or something like that. But I also kind of like the idea of getting three cards. Yeah, you, you really want to keep him off of drawing three cards though, right? Because he's got true, 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 true. Okay. Well, he is the game designer. He knows everything. I will path to exile. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to pay one for Ristic Study? Uh, I will pay the one. Get ready. No! Oh, no. <laughs> that reaction tells me everything I need to know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How badly oh he needed it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will uh, send Zeros to the command zone. That really... You do get yourself a basic land. Hey. Well, there's that island. I don't think I discarded one already, but I do have an island in the stack. All right. Once I find it, there we go. It comes in tapped. Uh, correct. Oh, yeah, sad. You can't even use it this turn. I mean, wow. You can do a lotus, but that that can't get you two colors of mana, right? So. Uh, nope. You had to attack with your Elvish Mystic, hilarious. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Way to go. It does keep you off of doing what right. you Wow. The, the three of us are doing a great that job. That is hilarious. I am uh, not super stoked about my situation at the moment. You have one turn that to find a board one. Yes. All right. I'll set that there. Uh, super unforge. Tray unforge. Tray unforge. <laughs> Just. I, I love. I love that. That's a great, great phrase. Great phrase. <laughs> I'll tap three mana, um, and I'm gonna channel a Sokens on, okay. giving myself That's two. You don't see that every day. Or yeah. uh, four mana actually, since I don't control a legendary creature oh. anymore. But I, I guess if you gotta discard your hand anyway, why not get the Goblin? Ex yeah. Good. Exactly. Let's see. They are two one one colorless spirits without flying. I just so happen to have those tokens. Was that the only card in your hand? It was the only card in my hand. Love to see it. Not even uh, a spell. Everyone's paying their <laughs> everyone's paying their taxes. <laughs> great. We're doing yeah. great. See, look at look at this is what happens. Everyone watching home, this is what happens when people don't let the Mystic Studies there just draw It doesn't have cards. to be the frosted card. Yep. <laughs> you just pay for the Mystic Studies. Not that hard. All right. And I pass my turn. Granted, I haven't done anything all game, but <laughs> yeah. Alright, very good. I'm gonna draw my card. You've bought yourself a turn. I bought myself a turn. did not draw a board sweeper. But you know what? Can't we can't have everything. Um all right, so what do you have untapped? Do you have two one one goblins untapped right now? Uh, spirits. Two one one colorless spirits. Wow. Two one color, but without flying, right? They're coming. Mm, so yeah, so no okay. flying. Yep, yep. Okay, and all my lands are still mountains. <laughs> uh, oh, you slow. You have a swamp. Well, sorry, all my non-basic lands. Oh yeah, yeah. Mountains. I got a lot of a lot of mountainy goodness over here. Um, all right, what are we doing? How are we gonna put a stop to this? So it's weird. We got rid of the Zyrus. Now it's just the tail of 38 snakes. Um, yeah. Easy peasy. Let's see, I'm gonna... <sighs> Got a couple interesting plays here I can make. I don't really wanna, I don't really wanna hurt my fellow compatriots. I don't really wanna kill Mr. Blood Moon over here. I think that's gonna be, that's gonna be too crucial. Come on. I think we all, we need everybody. Yeah, this is a real a group, a group effort kind of situation. Okay. Um, Here's what we're gonna do. I think we're just gonna play an oldie but a but a goodie. One, two, three. I'm gonna play a sword of fire and ice. Ooh. Did you wanna pay one for Rhystic Study? And I am indeed gonna pay one nice. for the Rhystic Study. Shucks. Question, have you drawn any cards off of Rizzix? I haven't drawn a single Let's card. <laughs> one card. Oh, yeah, but no, I, I got one over there. Okay. Real real great work. Everybody. I had to discard it, though. <laughs> <laughs> and you just got a, one, a couple one ones over there. Yeah. I guess no one else has any board sweepers in there. So if you could attack me for 39, that'd be kind of a... Kind of kind a bummer. Of unfortunate, but... 
You know, it could, could always happen. Um, you do have the Monarch. I do have the Monarch. Yeah, that, that's a good reason to tax one for 39. I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I could equip the sword. I think that's what I'm, what I'm feeling. I think that's what I'm feeling right now. I'm going to equip the Sword of Fire and Ice to the Crimson Fleet Commodore. And I'm going to attack you with my Crimson Fleet Commodore. It is a 7-4 trample. Trample, ouch. Oh, nice. Uh, it's funny how those little keywords play a big part. I will declare no blocks. Okay. So you're going to take 7. And I'm going to deal 2 damage to one of your... I guess I'll I'll hit your Elvish Mystic, actually. Oh, no. Nice, nice. nice. And I'll draw a card. Got to give a Blood Moon around. Uh, Kill the Blood Moon. Yeah, do not... Hang around with one life, because I have a Blood Moon. The Blood Moon <laughs> yes. player uh, might not be long for the world. We're, we're going to find out. I'll play this uh, land tapped, and I'll pass the turn. And I'll draw for being the Monarch. And I actually have to discard a card after that, unfortunately. I will not get a snake. Yeah, that's right. No snake for you. I'm just going to go ahead and discard this. Go for it. You going to play forest? That was a weird face he made, Chris. Yeah, yeah. We're just going to see what's going to happen. Oh. <laughs> I, I love it when Chris does that. <laughs> I'm going to play Storm Cauldron. Would you like to pay one for Ristic Study? Um... Yeah, and I would have done it as part of the casting cost, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can do that right now. I am. Damn it. I'm going to pass the turn. Guys, uh, you can play an additional land on each of your turns, but whenever you tap a land for mana, return that land to your hands. Storm Cauldron is not a card you see every day, you know? It's cool that uh, it's cool you played that one. That's, uh, you know, uh, that's what I like about this commander. It gives the opportunity uh, to play a lot of cards that are interesting yeah. and then not dead cards in the deck. So. Totally. I do want to kill you even more now, though. Yeah, I figured that would be the uh, end result. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to pass the turn. Chris, if I can see right, so you can, alive. Like, tap that forest, bring it back, and then be able to discard the seismic assault, right? Yeah, you if I that. need to. It, the, if you attach you with exactly one snake, it's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're safe. He's got how many cards in hand? One time draws. One. But one. he's also got a forest he can tap and return to his hand. So. got to attack him with three snakes, oh, just man. in case. Just in case. Hmm... Not a sweeper. Um, okay, let's. How many lands would I like to return to my hand right now? Probably not that many. Honestly. Probably as few as physically now, if, possible. If you need to do anything fancy, you do get to play an additional land on each of your turns. That is great. If that helps getting you the mana that you need. Uh, have I played? I don't think I played a land out here. Uh, huh? I will play one cool mountain. Oh, what a cool wow. mountain! And I'll play a super cool forest. Tower's just a man-made mountain, right? That's exactly right. <laughs> um, other than that. I think I can put out, uh, I need a white, just double check. Yeah, I need a white here. I will put out a Mavinda, Student's Advocate. Oh, oh God, cool I card. love that yeah. card. And I did too. And I will pay the one for the Rhystic Study. Nice. Get absolutely wrecked. Good work. And I will pass the turn. Teamwork, teamwork. One card off of a Rhystic Study that's been on the battlefield the whole game. Not allowed. <laughs> I, I appreciate your guys' devotion to paying your taxes. The country appreciates you. And I will untap, draw a card. How do we want to do this here? Now you do that island. That one island that you got at the Path to Exile is really relevant. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yes, it does. I yeah. wish it was any other removal spell I had to use. Yeah, right. Look, if you got to use it, you got to use it, you know? Yeah, Swords, swords of Polishers would have been devastating. Would have been much better. Yeah. All right, let's see. Um, let's open up my options here. Um, I'm going to send... This is going to be one of these snakes. Three creatures at Chris. He's already, he's already Please tell me you don't have something worse. Than uh, no, I mean, I'm, I'm just... Okay. Gonna, Apologies, I missed my uh, Storm Cauldron trigger, so oh. I'm going to return those to oh, my hand. Yeah, cool. Sweet. I'm going to float a green mana. Mm -hmm. I'm going to return this force to my hand. And, uh, uh, yeah, and let me, I'll finish declaring my attackers real quick. Really don't know what that Spellslinger deck does. So, I'm going to send... Me either. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to send 37 snakes 
at Gavin. There's no snakes at Gavin. Okay. Uh, I will block one of the snakes with Carter. All right. Uh, and then before damage? One of your snakes is going away, but I still die. Do you, have, do you have any more lands or not? Nah? I do not. I do not. Sorry. Into the mic. No, Chris. Right, so when a, a attacking creature dies, you all lose one life and I gain one life. Oh, that's hot. That's a relevant line of text. Yep. So you die. Yep. You take one. Lose one. You take one as well. Yes. Uh, and I gain one. Awesome. Did you already hit me I for one? Preview, Sweet. Yeah. And then Carter will kill off one of your snakes. Yes. And I'm going to so I'm gonna take 26 or 36. 36 damage. But I will gain one life. So I'll <laughs> Nice. <laughs> there you go. Uh, which puts me down to the ripe life total of six. I think we got this. And you all lose one life and I gain one life. So how about that? Way to go. All righty. You're dead. Oh, GG's. I am dead. That blood moon was vicious. Whoa, no blood moon. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so let's start off. Um, let's do things that are going to hurt me. Ooh, yes. I will lose one life to the Cephalid Coliseum, and I will cast an Altar of the Brood. Okay. And when I do that, cast trigger on. Cards. I will draw two cards. I love song creation. That's a card I worked on. I had a blast working on that. Yeah, it's so cool. Uh, and explosive. I think Let's, you, play, you play like two lands a turn or something wild like that. It was pretty nuts. Um, I will play a Cavern of Souls, and I will name Snake. Good choice. <laughs> Not Leviathan? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, the other, other half. And then I'll also play a Spire Garden. Yeah. And... Let's sacrifice for three mana. Yeah. Uh, one here. Two, three. Four. Oh, so three, and then four, just four five, additional. Yep. 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 Okie dokie. Uh, I will cast Cyrus. Yep. When I do that, I will draw two cards. And who's going to mill a card? Oh, yes. Permanent. Uh, it's each opponent. Oh, it is each opponent. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, in that case. I'll mill a mountain. Cultivate. All right. Um, and you played your land after you played this Elder Brood or before? Uh, I played it after, actually. Right, so yeah, yeah. Another. Two more. Sorry. Uh, so Good catch, Gavin. You played two lands. Yes, I played two lands. Yep. Oh, you okay. played two lands afterwards. Okay. Yes. Got it. Time of need, light the way. All right. I'm going to crack this Bloodstained Mire. Okay. And when that land enters the battlefield, you guys will each oh, no, mill more. one more. Got a burnished heart over here. Forest. I will grab a steam vents and I will shock myself. Look at that. All the way down to, to 23. Um, I'm winning this game somehow. <laughs> I have a problem with taking myself far too close to danger. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. I'm going to shuffle up quick and see if we can't keep this train going. Choo choo. I'm going to tap for green mana and... I'm going to cast a Utopia Sprawl, oh, nice. targeting my breeding pool. Okay, so you'll draw two cards. I'll draw we two. We all mill a card? Yes. Mill. Little Grave Titan. Another forest. Did you say Grave Titan? Yeah, Grave Okay, I heard that. Um, and I will name Blue on that. I have the saddest hand in the world right now. Uh, take one off the Cephalic Colossus. Ooh, I did. I did earlier. Did. I believe so. Making sure. And if not, I will correct that in editing. Uh, I will have to move to my end step, and I'll be discarding a training center, a displacer kitten, and a delighted halfling. All right. And displacer kitten is whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you flicker one of your creatures. Uh, flicker a non-land permanent. I flicker a non-land permanent. Okay. We're good. Yep. And then you're done. Yep. And I'm done. Okay. It'd be a real good time to draw a board sweeper. That's I believe. Saying. Let's find out how much we should believe. Ooh, that was not, definitely not it. So I'll tell you that <laughs> one right now. That was the opposite of um, it. These are um, untapped. Can I see your graveyard really quick? Yeah. Is there anything exciting in here? Um, not for reanimates, but. Wow, well. really not. <laughs> I gotta say, you're a little late <laughs> on that. Um, okay, there's a couple, I got a couple options this turn. Uh, but I'll tell you where we're gonna start. We're gonna start with the old attackies. Oh. I'm going to send both Carter and Crimson Fleet Commodore right at your face. Nice. I actually, uh, I, I respect your choice to do that. I. And you, can, you can't block the Commodore because it's got pro-red. You could block Carter if you want it. I will declare no blocks. 
Okay, you're gonna declare no block. She's gonna take all the damage. How much uh, damage is that? Eleven. It's currently slated to be eleven. Yeah. If you wait, wait to get double strike. If, if you feel like double strike this or whatever, I can probably kill him. Um, I can't give you double strike. I can put some counters on it. Let's see. I'm angel fire ignition in my graveyard. Yeah, that's a sorcery speed. All right. Uh, that is correct. This, this, this doesn't let you ignore. No, it doesn't. You're right. Yeah. Uh, I have a light the way. This is one counter though. No, nope, unfortunately not. All right. Well, if you have anything gives lifelink, I'd also appreciate that. But uh, uh, actually, till end of turn. No, that's just the angel fire ignition. I that's can't. Fine. Okay. Very good. Well, uh, so we're, I'm gonna connect with you for uh, five, six, seven, and eleven. So you go down to uh, uh, twelve. Twelve and I life. I deal two damage somewhere. And the question for me is, where do I want to deal the two points of damage? Well, hang on, because if you can get his life pretty low, I actually might be able to kill him. All right, well, I'll just go to your face. Well, I, yeah. I can maybe get the Zyrus out of the way. I'll just go to your face. Let's see what happens. Okay. All right, to your face. Oh, right. Actually, you're the monarch, too, by the way. Oh, hey. So you uh, can draw a card and after then, Song of Creation resolves. Oh, so. I'll have one card in hand. Now I will get back to the monarch, though. Okay. Um, okay, so two to your face with the Sword of Fire Nice. Yes. I'll draw a card. Maybe it'll be good. And I will create a snake. And when I do that, you guys will each mill one. I drew a mountain, so that's not very useful. Uh, mirror wing Dragon, if you happen to have a nice little uh, reanimate spell. Um, I might have something kind of cool I can do. So when I cast a non-creature spell, I get to blink one of my th things with Displacer Kitten. Mm -hmm. that yep. <laughs> oh, just kill Jordan. <laughs> well, it would, it, would, uh, it would leave you protected. Can I attack I you? Think if you're... Can I read the Mirror Wing Dragon? Yeah. All right. I'm going to play Instruments the Targets that you copy it for each other creature you control. Okay. That's a cool card. Um, what do you think? So on your turn, if I get rid of that Zyrus right now, can you kill him? I'm kind of doing the math right now. So... So you, you have the angel fire thing, right? Right, so I can, uh, on this turn, Mavinda put two counters on it. That goes up to a four, five. On my turn, angel fire ignition, uh, take it up to a six, seven, and maybe even flash it back uh, for, yeah, because I can do it with Mavinda. So for six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So. You're doing for eight right now. Yeah. Is that right? The eight is not. Eight is not it. Eight is not enough. This is this is the part where we all. St this is the counting phase of the game. This is where I'm um, I'm, I'm sweating. Eight. Because <laughs> I can only do it once per turn. Eight. Carter is notably kind of interesting here because it can. Um, Seven. It's attacking creatures, right? Will will we'll deal some damage. And it can save you. Potentially, yeah, yeah. Uh, can I see your graveyard one more time? Sorry. I gotta yes. Like, All the options. The nonsense is going on over here. <laughs> For those at home, yes, I do a reanimation spell in my hand. I, you might be shocked <laughs> to learn it in the graveyard 600 times. That is true, but... Um, okay, so there's that back for you. Thank you. I think I can do 10. If you can get rid of it, I can do 10. You, you think you can do it? Mm -hmm. You think or you know? Well, I can go through it right now. So uh, on your turn here, yeah. I will... Where is it? Light the way. That's two counters, right? It goes up to four on power. And you can, it's two counters. Because it's a plus, a plus one, plus one counter on it, and then with Mavinda's ability, I can do it again. Right. Which it gets this exiled. This is from hand right now. What's that? This is from hand right This now? is from the graveyard. It's already in the but graveyard. But it, it exiles, right? Oh, snap. So I'm one oh, short. Yeah, I can get him to nine. Yeah. Now I can get him to nine. You can do nine. So, so tell me how you do it. Maybe I can, I can, okay. So put a counter here, right? That's now three. Yeah. Go to my turn. I have enough mana to... Um, oh, because it exiles every time. So I don't know if I can do it now. Shoot. I mean, you can rock over something if there's any. True, 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 true. Goblin Chain Whirler. <laughs> <laughs> but two plus one plus encounters are good. So I get one, two, three. And then I have four, five, six. God dang it. I don't think I can do it. I think I can get to eight, maybe. Okay, I think I can do eight. Well, then I will just count on you doing as much as you possibly can. <laughs> Perfect. Can I see your graveyard one more time? Yes. Sorry, I got to keep checking this because it's like really, really, really relevant. I I believe that You're I'm just calling us and you do not yeah, have a name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have have the read here. You're just roping us in real life. I mean, the other thing is I could reanimate. This is the most dangerous play. 
I could reanimate this Whirlpool Warrior and let us all shuffle our hands Whoa. and a bunch of new cards. But it is going to give him a ton of snakes. And then you will mill a bunch of cards, and then I won't get anything off of it. Right, and we will mill a bunch of cards. So it's like a pretty dangerous... I think we already die to the snakes on board anyway is the thing. Well, we is a strong word. We is a strong word. <laughs> <laughs> I, I might... <laughs> you... I'll, keep the, um, I'll keep the kitten on top for you. Yeah. I think... Let's see, one, two, three, four... I, right now, I've, so I haven't played land for the turn, so I'll just go ahead and do that. So I'm going to play land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have access to nine mana. I can do that. It's a pretty wacky, a pretty wacky play. Um, and then you you might get it's a draw card. It's just it's so risky. I think I just have to do it this way, and uh, this is what we'll we'll see what happens. Okay. After that, after a lot of Ballyhoo there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think I just have to do this to protect myself, because otherwise, yeah, I have no way around it. Okay, I'm gonna cast Cypruckle Primordial. And I, unfortunately, I cannot pay the one this turn. You will get to draw a card off for six studies. Really, really wow. Cool. Uh, Does it feel good? And Second card of the game. Creature back so me good. Graveyard. I'm going to get back to Displacer Kitten from your graveyard. And there you and are. You got the dragon, right? Yep. So I'll get the dragon back from your graveyard. Oh, it's for each. That's right. Okay. Yep. Thank you. All right. So whenever I cast a non-creature spell, I get to blink something. Um, then I'm going to tap two mana. It's, it's really it's Christmas over there for you. I'm going to cast a non-creature spell. I'm not going to pay the one. <gasps> and I'm going to blink my Carter. <laughs> so all your all you guys' creatures have to attack each other on next. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I love that. Um, so maybe you can kill this turn with a Vinda. Uh, and then I will end my turn, and I will draw a card for being the monarch. Okay, uh, at your end step, I have effects. I'll just go ahead and draw this now, but yeah. Uh, yes. Sure. I will... Well, Say you're doing it on the Xerus trigger. Sure. Um, yeah, I think I will use Mavinda. I will cast a Light the Way, putting a plus one, plus one counter on Mavinda. Love to see it. Right. I knew Mavinda had potential. I've always loved the card. Yeah, it's a, it's a really cool card. Uh, still at end step, I will cast a Charge Through. Okay, so just draw a new card, I guess. Fan tripping, exactly. Yeah. Uh, would you like to pay one for Ristic Study? I will pay the one. Yeah, she's uh, paying for the... Uh, it's also on the uh, light the way. I'll yeah. pay for both of them. Okay. Drawing okay. off of charge through. I will create another snake. Um, oh, uh, by the way, uh, that snake entered. That card you mill. picked up, mill. you will You're have right. milled it, and then you'll draw the that next was, card. Just, he doesn't know the card, so we can just resolve the triggers now. Sure, sure, okay. sure. Yep. So it's just one more, one more mill, right? Yep. Uh, All right, it's two mills. Two more mills. Two more mills. All right. Uh, Fury Calm, Snarl, and Crimson Wisps. Sweet. Okay, um, still at end step. I will cast a Defiant Strike targeting Mavinda. Draw a card, you can draw a card. Ristic Study, yay. And we're going to make another token. You're and you guys. Token where you're going to mill a card. Yep, yep. and mill one more. Now, milling into your graveyard is actually a little helpful, right? Yeah, I'm trying to see what I can find. Uh, skill to height. It's put a plus one plus one counter on up to one target creature. You gain two life. You may play another land. Okay, all right, I will go to my turn. Any more effects? I hate that I'm giving you options. <laughs> right? Uh, nope. Okay, all go right. to my turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. I will draw for turn. Hmm. Yeah. We'll see if he has the mana for the Defiant Strike and the Angel Fire Ignition, because I think that's what gets him to 10 well, here. Yeah, a few things that are notable. One, you still have your Zyra, so you can block. Yeah. Two, um, you can only use Mavinda once per turn. Yep. Oh, right, right. So, I mean, he, he can he can do it for one thing. He can flash back the Angel Fire Ignition as normal, but a loss can depend on what's in his hand. And now maybe, I mean, it's probably not the, the case you know what he's looking at. Maybe he drew like a board sweeper or something useful there, you know? I didn't. So, I wish, <laughs> I, wish alas, I could say I did. Alas, we can't have everything. <laughs> it doesn't always work out. Uh, I'll play a Plains as my one land for turn. Uh, and then I will go like this. And I will flash back an Angel Fire Ignition. Okay. I'll put Such a great card. Two plus one plus one counters on Mavinda here. Would you like to pay one for Ristic Study? 
Uh, that is the excellent all-star question. I will. Heard that. Uh, and then it, Mavinda also gains Vigilance, Trample, Lifelink, Indestructible, and Haste until end of turn. And that'll be cool. Exiled. Then I think, let's see, what's my one Mavinda activation? You got a, you got a five butt? In your deck, you could always try and rip it, right? You what's could, that? If you have Blast and Act in your deck, you could always try and rip it, like go for Defiant Strike, draw a new card. Oh, just like try and draw it? I mean, I mean might as well. Well, I don't know, I don't know what else you got going on. Oh, we uh, were just having the conversation. We were just having that conversation. It's That's not right. there. It's not there, you know? Uh, sometimes it's just not there, dog. Uh, For those of you at home who can't see it, uh, the owner of the deck that Jordan is playing is just shaking his head every time Jordan asks him a question. <laughs> <laughs> I super let you. I appreciate you letting me borrow your deck. It's though. more like, man, I, I, uh, I wish I built that deck a little bit different sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, sometimes you play a deck. Not a good, not a good spot on that deck. Sometimes you play a deck and you're like, Huh, I should change my deck. You know? yeah. <laughs> oh my god, like that, dog. You let Jordan make those mistakes, though. Yeah, so. yeah exactly. I, I figured it out for you. Uh, okay, using Mavinda's ability, I will flash back a tainted or a defiant strike. Uh, so you already are. Are you paying the full cost of the Angel Fire Ignition in order to do it? I paid for the flashback cost of Angel Fire Ignition. Okay, yeah, cool. And then. I'm using Mavinda's ability for defiant strike. Yes, perfect. Uh, I will pay for the Rhystic Study Trigger. Ugh. Uh, plus one, plus O, oh, and I will draw this card. When you do so, I will make a snake, and you'll mill, mill one. Okay. Oh, that would have been a cool card. Yeah, that, that would Shh. be a nice one to have. A little turn late. All right, well, I will go to combat. Six and power creature right now. Yep, I will swing a six. Six at you. What are the chances he has a one mana buffer here? I'd say pretty low. But uh, it's only a bunch of. But you, you know, you also go to four, so maybe that's relevant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I will declare Zyrus as a blocker. Okay, I have nothing. Okay. And it does gain trample. It's got like a vigilance. Oh, actually, it has trample. trample. Yeah, it's got vigilance too. It's got vigilance, trample, lifelink. I don't play this yeah. card that much. It has vigilance, trample, lifelink, indestructible. Yeah, it's not. You're now a little out of reach for me. So you, <laughs> you gain a six life. I will gain a six life, my dude. And that's I will right. lose, one. lose one. Great deck guy. All right, you go to thirty-six. Nice. Okay. Uh, fantastic news, guys. I have seven cards in hand, and I'm passing. I appreciate the responsibility on the Rhystic study. It All right. prevents some things from happening. Yeah, I mean, otherwise, you know, he just runs away. So it no longer has lifelink, correct? It no longer has lifelink. That's true. Wow, that's great news. Sad. I have cards in my hand. Yeah, you do. Okay, yes. Strange thing with Song Crew. Ooh, it's a beautiful thing. I will draw for turn. I'm going to try not to kill myself with... Um, Effects. I will untap here. Yikes. Gavin, that was a great play with the Displacer Kitten. Uh, Blink was this a bunch of times, but uh, I think Blinking Carter was going to be a little more effective there. So. Oh, sure, sure. Let's see. Um, I'm just going to move straight to combat, and I have to kill Jordan. Yeah, and you, in fact, you are compelled. To you play. actually have to kill. Yeah. No choice. It is a game I, action you must take. Thanks. Yeah, so this is five additional snakes there. We can probably uh, yeah. work at this a little bit, right? Yep. Boop. In response, uh, I'm going to make, I'm going to cast Crimson Wrist. Crimson Wisps. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to make Mavinda Red. You, you, that means you will draw a card. Oh, you will draw a card. Oh. Maybe you don't want to do that. I don't know. Six study. God damn it. Well, I'll just accept defeat and die. How about that? All right. Okay. Yeah, I will. That's fine. I will block one of your snacks. All right. And you will die. I will die. And you will lose a life, and I'll gain a life. Oh. All right. Seven, that's a eight. not nothing ability, <laughs> <Yeah>. right? <laughs> okay. Um, I. Now you got a grip of cards to do nonsense with. Um. Yeah, I don't get to draw no Zyrus on the battlefield, so that's kind of sad. But I, I literally, I have to start over. Otherwise, you will kill me. Oh, and this Mirroring Dragon does go away as well. Ooh, unfortunately. Ooh, it's gone! So I will exile a Simeon Spirit Guide from yeah. my hand. Yeah. You get a red and for one red mana, I will cast a Blasphemous Act. Okay, so everything is going to die. Except for this Crimson Cloak Fleet Commodore. Oh, protection from red. Oh, that sucks. Okay, uh, yes. Okay. I will draw two cards on the cast. All right, so you draw two cards. And all this other stuff is going to die, including your Displacer Kitten. And I'll put my... Carter um, into my command zone. Oh my god. That 
Crimson Fleet. I was so secure in that play. I was like, yes. <laughs> okay. It's relevant. Uh, let's see. Let's. I said blue here. Let's have for green, blue. Um, so three. Not that. Four, five. Wow, that's six. We got, we got a heater coming out. Right seven. Here. Okay. Seven mana. Yeah. I will cast an old gnaw bone. Ooh, that's no new gnaw bone. All right, so I'm going to mill a card, right? Yes, permanent entering. I will draw two off the cast of Song of Creation. Yep. This is so sad. I hate having to discard everything at the end of this. It's your favorite card. <laughs> it is my favorite card. I love hate relationships. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will play a Verdant Catacombs as my land. Yeah. Only lands that hurt me. Um... And unfortunately, I have to uh, move to my end step. All right, discard your hand. Where I will discard a Force of Will and a Braid, a Rhythm of the Wild, a Coat of Arms, and a Force of Vigor. All right. Get those get those the heck out of there. I'll untap, and I will draw. Right, you have no cards in your hand, so it's pretty open information. Yep. So I'm just going to use some good old-fashioned removal spells. I'm going to oh. cast Shriek Maw from my hand. One, two, three, four, and five. I'll kill off your old knobbone. That hurts. I will attack you for seven. Oh. Complete, complete. Oh. Did you want to pay one for Ristic Study? I'd like to pay one. Good question. Okay. There and, we go. And I'll attack you with Crimson Fleet Commodore for seven. Seven damage. I have no blocks and no answers. Take seven, and then I'll deal the two damage you with Sword Fire. That's a good game. Old fashioned guess off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> guys. Great game. Yeah, what a great game. Gavin, congratulations awesome. on the win. Thank you. And uh, I think we all learned a lesson today. Pay for Ristic Study. Pay the Ristic Study. Oh, study. that is... Heard it from the, the man water. himself. That is the, the difference maker. It wins one of the three other people that game sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pay for Ristic Study and make all your opponents attack each other. That's my <laughs> that is, uh, tip for you all. Yeah, that's a crazy ability on Carter. Even the attacking creature dies uh, became relevant. It comes up yeah. a lot. The thing I was really looking for is I've got a number of instant speed sweepers in my deck. So yeah. you attack with your 36 snakes and I kill all of them while they're attacking, it'll kill all of you at the same time. Oh, time. that's oh, amazing. Draw a decree of pain. You uh, allegedly have instant speed uh, sweepers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, allegedly. <laughs> Could not get them. But didn't matter ultimately. Yeah, no, that's great. Great all game, right. guys. If you guys enjoyed this episode and you would like to support the show, you can do so by finding us on uh, Spotify and all major podcasting platforms. But more specifically for this episode, you can support us on YouTube by subscribing, hitting that thumbs up and ringing that bell for more notifications. This is kind of our gateway episode into doing gameplay. So if you liked it, let us know in the comments below. You can also join our Discord server, which I'll leave in the description below. We have a pop-in community there, uh, which I'm sure is going to sound off about this episode uh, and how I misplayed or... <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense. We won't yeah, talk no, about no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you next time. Yeah. Peace. Thanks. Yeah, peace. peace. See ya.